peace and bliss welcome back to reclaiming our roots this is tanya and i wanted to pop in and share with you all what i have found to be a very effective and productive way to grow squash as many of you all know that i struggled with my squash this year and i struggled with squash last year but i'm finding that by me growing them with the trellis cage has been the best thing since sliced bread for me it has allowed the plant to have ample amount of airflow. If you trellis the leaves along the caging, as you can see, look at that. You can see clear through that plant, plenty of airflow. I thought I suffered from a pollination issue with the bees, but I see, if the plant is open enough, or if it's open and there's airflow, that means that there's a passage where the bees can access the blossoms and pollinate the plant. But I do keep it pruned at the bottom down here so that the leaves are not touching the soil to prevent disease. And it is, it is taken off. I am so pleased. Look at that, we have squash, guys. We have more squash. And over here, we have more squash. So yes, you can grow squash in, tomato, in, in um, containers. But if you want to grow it effectively and productively, I highly recommend you pull it on the trellis system. It doesn't have to be in the cage. You can use cattle panel. You can use, um, I saw this one thing, I think it's like a wire mesh that you can use. There are several different trellis and systems that you can use to achieve this effect. But yep, I just wanted to pop in and show you all. I am happy, happy, happy. Look at that. I'm gonna have me some squash, y'all. <laughs> Into the next video. Peace and bless.